Yep, got this puppy chucker in yesterday, pulled it out of the packaging, and as you guys can see, it's in my left hand, and it hadn't moved. About 12 hours that I've been using this thing, have not put her down. She's been rocking my world. This is the Karen TC218 by Snow Ant. Was a big fan of the Battlestar, man, but the Battlestar, it never caught on, and let me tell you why I didn't catch on. Snow Ant, I hope you're watching. You didn't get into mass distribution. I was disappointed because I thought everybody and their brother would pick that up. The Battlestar felt like that was better than the Relo 2-3. A lot better than the Relo 2-3. I mean, way better. It looked very similar to the Relo 2-3 but it performs so much better. This, I like this better. It looks more rustic. It feels more rustic. It feels of good quality. Zinc alloy, and it's got this leather-esque panel. And you know what had me at hello is when I first hit the fire button and the way this thing hit. The response time was redonkulous, man. I mean, it was like 0.1 seconds. Fastest response time I've ever dealt with on a regulated device. I took my, my stopwatch and I said, all right, honey, here we go. Yep, 0.1. I'm kidding. No, I, it's a guesstimate. About 0.1. It, it, it feels like that. It feels faster than any other mod that I've dealt with as far as, as, far as ramp up. So I got this Azeroth RT on here yeah i know i said i was gonna throw it out have not been able to it's just too damn good i can't do it you know what i'm done talking about the azeroth died died today's about the karen tc218 rep get your shit together boy sorry i digress Point one ohm building here 85 watts <laughs> you see how fast that was instant And you know what? It seems like it hits harder at 85 watts than most other mods at 85 watts. I'd say a good 5, 10 watts harder. So the Karen 218 is a dual 18650 mod. Vapes all the way up to 218 watts. You could build her all the way down to 0.1 ohm in temperature mode. You could build her all the way down to 0.1 ohm in regular wattage mode. She's got TCRs. You could vapor in nickel, titanium, stainless steel. Smoant markets that there's an upgradable firmware coming, and they also market that there's a software coming where I guess you upgrade the firmware, do all that stuff. But the thing is, is this thing has curve mode for temperature mode and curve mode for wattage mode, but you can't use use the curve mode for temperature or for wattage until the software comes out. That is a little bit of a con. Something's got to be pointed out, especially if you're the type of vapor you like to mess with curves. For me, I could give a flying fart. Man, this thing hits like a ton of bricks. Truck full of d -d -d dildos. And I can adjust my wattage. And if I can adjust my wattage, man, I, I honestly, I don't ever use the curves anyways in other devices. But it's all going to be subjective. You may. It's got a USB port on the front for charging and supposedly upgradable firmware. You got your water. Well, well, you'll see this in the close-ups, but you got your, all your function buttons up there and you got your mini screen there. Not a big mini screen. It's like the DNA mini screens, the DNA 200s, the 250s. 510 connection up here. This thing holds good size tanks, man. This is a 24. I've gotten a 25 on there and there was just a tiny bit of overhang. Barely. I mean, this thing fits your 25 millimeter devices with ease and it looks good. Color options. You got copper, you got tarnish, you got stainless steel, you got gold, you got black. Love the freaking battery door. Here we go. Watch that. Boom. Ready? Watch this. <laughs> I'll do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Oh, I love it how it clicks into place. I, I, I know, I know, I'm crazy. So yeah, on this side, you got your dual batteries, dual 18650s. Again, I got to do this. I love it. Oh. The only two con, two major cons to me is the software not being available and then the button rattle. Other than that, the color options, the way this thing fires up in wattage mode, this thing hits smoking fast. Feels a good quality, zinc alloy. But the fact is, they offer this leather S panel thing. It came with mine. It just feels good. And the fact that you can vape this thing in temperature mode, you can vape it with nickel, titanium, stainless steel. That should be a given with these mods. Fire button, even though it rattles, it's comfortable and it's clicky and it's big. Wattage up, wattage down buttons are nice clicky too. You'll see in the close ups. Mini screen, it's easy to navigate. To a newbie, no, but to someone who's dealt with mods, regulated mods, yeah, it's a cinch. I like how the USB port is on the side, not on the base too. Battery venting, galore man you got holes all on the side holes i mean this thing never heats up on me because of it okay holes back here this Azeroth RTA match with this sucker is just the mother chucker of all mother chuckers. Right now it is, at least. Here she is, ladies and gentlemen, the packaging for this Smoant Karen TC218. And of course, inside the packaging, you're going to receive your Karen 218 mod. Included is a USB cable for charging and upgradable firmware, a Karen TC218 user manual, a warranty card, a quality control card, and last but not least, a battery safety card. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Karen TC218 mod. This is the copper version, very rustic, but she's primarily made of zinc alloy. She's 93 millimeter by 53 millimeter by 25 millimeter. And like I said, very rustic. I am really digging this. I'm glad they sent me the copper version it's super comfortable in your hand comes with this leather backing leather sticker but they offer different sticker options on their site but this one comes with the black one you got plenty of ventilation look at that you got two two 
two, and then two, and then on the back, you got more ventilation. This thing has never even gotten warm on me. So you got your fire button up here, your menu screen, your waters up, waters down buttons, and your USB port for charging. Now, the menu screen, it's not the biggest menu screen, and I did not mention this in FaceTime, but that may be a subjective con to you. The fire button, love the fire button. It is a little rattly, but I still love it. You got a ring around here, which is super nice, and it just feels good. I don't know. It just clicks with me. Again, all this is going to be subjective. At the top, you got your stainless steel 510 connection, 510 threads are nice and smooth. Pretty much everything that I've screwed on here, 99% is screwed down flush, and 25, 24 millimeter devices look great. 22 millimeter, 23 millimeter devices look great as well. Got a spring loaded 510 pin. This is a 24 millimeter device. It sits flush, flush, flush. No overhang, just looks the tits on here. This is a 25 millimeter tank and look at it. I mean, it, there's barely overhang, if that. I mean, it's just a smidge, still looks the tits. Like I said, 25 millimeter, 24 millimeter devices look great on here. Close up view of that fire button. It does protrude a little bit and you got this ring around it, which protrudes, which makes it easy to find. I am just really digging the fire button. It does rattle. It's got some feedback. Again, here's the rattle. That may be a major con to it. For me, it doesn't really bother me. I know that sounds funny, but the way this thing is, how rustic it is, it just goes with it. But again, that may be a major con to you. It's just something that's got to be pointed out. At the base, very simple, says Smoen, Karen TC218. The outside of the mod, you got your battery panel, and this battery panel is one of the best battery panels. Just the way it fits, the way it feels. It's not going to rattle. It's not going to come off. It just feels so good. It clicks into place, but it comes off with these. Do 18650 mod, like I mentioned at FaceTime. And here's the inside of the battery door you got your magnet up here magnet down here and there are a few blemishes i don't even know if i want to call them blemishes but that may be a nitpicky thing just being super duper nitpicky and showing you what it's all about and here's the inside of the battery tray everything nice and clean you got your connections down here up here you got your magnets up here and down here Once again, love the way this sucker fits. Slides into place, clicks into place, and you can turn it upside down, does the same thing. Five clicks of this bad boy turns her on. And as you guys can see, we are in regular wattage mode. You get your battery life indicator up here. It says VW, meaning variable wattage, 85 watts, resistance, voltage, five clicks to turn this bad boy off. Three clicks the fire button gets us into the mini settings. One, two, three. You're going to see variable wattage, nickel, titanium, stainless steel, nicro mode, TCR mode. You got DTC curve, which is temperature curve mode. And you got DVW, which is variable wattage curve mode. Now, you cannot use both these codes at the moment because the software is not out yet. That may be a con to you, but Smoant's coming out with a software and they state once the software comes out, you can mess with the curves. Let's just say we click into stainless steel mode. Okay, you can adjust the temperature from there from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Water's up, water's down, but does it and it round robins and in temperature mode you're going to see the battery gauge just like variable waters mode but you're going to see underneath that stainless steel for temperature you're going to see the temperature you're going to see the resistance and then the wattage and you can adjust the wattage in temperature mode which is another pro and in order to adjust the wattage in temperature mode what you got to do is hold down the fire button and the wattage up button down at the same time while you are in temperature mode and then you can adjust the wattage and it does not round robin. And once you go below 100 watts, you can adjust it in 0.1 increments, or you can just hold it down. When you're done setting the wattage, you want to get back to temperature, just hold down the fire button and the wattage up button down at the same time, or just wait. You can lock the resistance in temperature mode. What you got to do is hold down the wattage up, wattage down button down at the same time, and then hold down the fire button right after that. Let go, and it's going to lock the resistance. And just let you know, when you lock the resistance, it also locks the temperature and the wattage. You can't adjust it. But you can fire this bad boy up. And to unlock the power of the temperature, what you got to do is hold down the fire button and the wattage down button down at the same time, and now you can adjust it. Now, unlike temperature mode and regular wattage mode, we can flip the screen. And in order to do that, hold down the fire button and the wattage up button down at the same time, and it flips it. Flip it back. And just like in temperature mode, you can adjust the wattage just like it is in temperature mode when you're adjusting the wattage. Does that make sense? Below 100 watts, you can do it in 0.1 increments, and you can hold it down, and it shoots right up. And in regular wattage mode, we can also lock the wattage just like temperature by holding down the wattage up and wattage down buttons down at the same time. Can't adjust it, but you can fire it up. The only real con for this is the button rattle. But is it a deal breaker for me? No. But the way this thing hits, man, I just can't get over it. how fast it is. It's like the damn flash. They should have called this the flash.
instantaneous. Oh yeah, price point for this. 50 to 60 bucks is what I'm seeing. I'll post links down in the description that I know of that are carrying this thing. Now onto the big question, the big answer of the day, I would buy this. So far in the 12 hours that I've been using this, I would buy it in a heartbeat. You know what? If something drastic happens to this thing or it just falls apart or stops working, I'll do a video. I'll do a follow-up for you guys. But if I don't do a follow-up, that means this thing is bangerang and tangerang. Yep, yep, yep. It's giveaway time. Just like I posted in the title of this video, giving away five of these TC, these Karen TC218 mods to five of you lucky random winners out there and in order to participate, what you got to do is, one, be a loyal YouTube subscriber of mine. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. That subscribe button. You know that red button? Hit it. Hit it. If you want to participate in this giveaway, okay? And then the second thing you got to do is comment down in the comment section your email or your Instagram. One of those will work. And then about a week from now, I'm going to go through the comments. I'm going to pick my five random winners, get your mailing addresses, and get these prizes out to you. Good luck. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like it. Found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like it, well, then like the video down below. And if you want to see more of me, subscribe for more. This is Rip Trippers and remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future and the future is now.